Hi everyone, this is a quick video for Math 3273. In this video we're going to introduce um, this notion of a matrix being positive, semi-definite. Okay. Um, so first of all, um, positive semi-definite matrices all have, well, are like fall into one of two categories. Okay. So let's take A to be an n by n matrix such that A star equals A, that's if A has entries in the complex numbers, or if A has entries in the real numbers, we'll assume A transpose equals A. Okay. So in that situation, if A star equals A with entries in the complex numbers, we call the matrix, um, oops, call the matrix Hermitian. And if A transpose equals A and A has entries in the real numbers, we call it symmetric. Okay, so under these, either of these cases, A is diagonalizable. Well, if it um, has entries in complex numbers, it's unitarily diagonalizable. And if it has entries in R, it's orthogonally diagonalizable. And all eigenvalues are real numbers. Okay. And here in this SI, you can just try and figure out, like, um, Try to figure out like similar theorems for these different cases. Like, try and take the case where if k transpose equals minus k, or um, what about if k star equals minus k, or you know, etc. all these different cases. Some, some, these are some different things you can try and work with. You know, um, you can try and prove that it's diagonalizable, try and figure out where do the eigenvalues all live, and, and stuff like that. Okay, anyways, let's get back to this. Okay, so we have to show that um, it is diagonalizable and all its eigenvalues are real numbers. Okay, first, um, let's show that all the eigenvalues are real numbers. Okay, first of all, notice that A is a normal matrix. Since A A star equals A, A star is just A. So A A star is A A, which is A star A. So A is normal, it's unitarily diagonalizable. Um, notice this also applies if A transpose equals A and A has entries in R. It's still unitarily diagonalizable because it's normal. Um, just and, and then so this part of the argument is going to apply to both cases. Okay, so we can write A equals U D U star, where U is a unitary matrix. And now look, U D U star is A, which is A star, which is U D star U star, and the canceling U star and U on both sides, we get D equals D star. In other words. Here's D, lambda eigenvalues on the diagonal, and here's D star, conjugate of the eigenvalues on the diagonal. And they're equal, so lambda 1 equals lambda 1 conjugate, etc. So um, all the eigenvalues are real. Okay. So now in, in the case where, we're, where we have um, her Hermitian co complex matrix, we're done. We've established it's unitarily diagonalizable and all eigenvalues are real. If we have a real matrix, we're not quite done. Okay. But we're almost done too. Okay, so if A is real, um, we've shown that all the eigenvalues are real. So our theorem about um, like um, our theorem we proved show, tells us that uh, there exists a triangle, upper triangular matrix and an orthogonal matrix Q such that A equals Q, T, Q transpose. And the diagonal entries of T are just the eigenvalues of A. Okay, so all real. Um, this requires us to assume, that, to already know that the eigenvalues are all real. Luckily, we've already established that up here. Okay. Okay. The reason we're doing this is that, so th this stuff only gives us that A is unitarily diagonalizable, but we want it to be diagonalizable with an orthogonal matrix. And everything, and then if we do that, everything will be in the real numbers and we'll be happier. Okay. So 
we have A equals QT, Q transpose, but what A transpose equals A. So that means QT transpose, Q transpose equals QT, Q transpose. In other words, T transpose equals T. T is upper triangular, so the only way that can happen is, is if T is a diagonal matrix. And that now that completes our proof. So um, symmetric real matrices are orthogonally diagonalizable, and Hermitian matrices are unitarily diagonalizable. Okay, and all in both cases, all the eigenvalues are real. Okay. And now we have our definition. Um, if we have either a Hermitian or a symmetric matrix, we call it positive definite. If all the eigenvalues are positive, and we call it positive semi-definite. If all the eigenvalues are non-negative, okay, and we just have a little proposition. Um, if, a, if A is Hermitian or symmetric, then A is, or sorry, let's start with one of the case, cases. So if A is Hermitian, then A is positive definite if and only if X star AX is greater than zero for all non-zero X in CN. And A is positive semi-definite if X star AX is greater than or equal to zero for all vectors X in CN. Okay. Um, and you can you can um, you could restrict it. You could say like if it's greater than zero for all vectors x of norm one or or something like that if you wanted. Okay, and we have a similar conditions for when uh, a is a symmetric matrix over the real numbers. Um, if a transpose equals a, then a is positive definite if and only if x transpose a x is greater than zero for all non-zero x in the in R n, and it's positive semi-definite if x transpose ax is greater than or equal to zero for all x in rn. Okay. It's like a similar condition. Okay, so let's do the proof when a is Hermitian. And we write a equals u d u star and where d has all real entries. Okay. Now x star ax we can rewrite it as x star u d u star x and we can rewrite that as y star dy, where y is just u star x, right? So y star is x star u, and, and so we have factored it. Okay. Now y star y is much simpler than x star ax. y star y is just lambda, like the first eigenvalue lambda 1 times um, modulus y1 conjugate y1 plus lambda 2 times y2 conjugate y2, and so on. Okay. Now, um, if all the lambdas are positive, then this this is just the sum of, like, all these weights, like, lambdas are positive, then this is just a bunch of some, like, the sum of a bunch of modulus squared, so it's positive um, as long as uh, at least one of the y's is non-zero. Okay. So if all the eigenvalues are positive, then x star ax is going to be positive as long as x is non-zero. Okay. On the other hand, if if this if x star ax is always positive, um, then we can prove like lambda one is positive by taking y one equals one and all the other y's to be zero. I will show that lambda one is positive. Similarly, we can show lambda, y, lambda two is positive by taking y2 equals 1 and all the other y's to be 0 and so on. Okay. So that, that completes the proof when A is Hermitian and when A is a symmetric real matrix, the proof is quite similar. Okay, um, thanks for watching. Um, in, in the next video we want to look at how uh, how a positive semi-definite matrix has a square root. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.